Let it be known throughout the land. I proclaim to be a sucker for old Zeman's phones. <laughs> you can see them moving and bobbing here. And even though that maybe to some they're not quite uh, impressive in terms of specs or build quality, well, at least they stand upright on their own, literally. Uh, well, to that notion, I got this uh, rather interesting looking Siemens uh, ME45. Now, for those of you uninit uninitiated, this thing is, well, it's the IP68 uh, infused smartphone or rather feature phone of its era. And it's, there's not much to talk about here other than the fact that it's, well, it's a, in good nick. The build quality is okay and it's rather sturdy and, well, ergonomically correct in the hand. Um, that's not always the case with Siemens phones. So my S65 dropped just now. Sorry about that. Let me just try to pick it up or rather just place all of them down and continue with the presentation. So the Siemens ME45. Um, this one is, a, well, it's an okay example, though not that clean. I tried cleaning it, but some grime is left here uh, under the screen, uh, between the screen glass and the rest of the body. Um, and also it's missing that uh, key uh, key component. There's supposed to be a gasket here, a literal rubber gasket, which uh, in combination with this lockable uh, battery cover should provide a protection and uh, well, during water ingress. So you can place this thing in the water, use it during uh, rain uh, rain outside and stuff like that. Okay, so let me just uh, show you some demos of this phone. Um, right now it's showing just some animations. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's the, that's the ringtone, one of them at least. And, uh, well, that's another one. <laughs> now, what I am curious about is whether this thing has games, and it does. And it's one of them is called Battle Mall. And let's try Balloon Shooter. This was actually pretty fun. It was supposed to be a competitor to the Snake Games from Nokia. So you just shoot balloons with the, with the this rudimentary keyboard. No, I don't know how you're supposed to do that. Anyway, I can't really be bothered uh, to try and play a game, but I'm not a competitive type. Uh, kind of makes you wonder why I would film and collect these gadgets if I don't go in depth with them. But I guess that's a question I don't yet have an answer to. So. Please bear with me as I have a look around with all, with this Siemens ME45. Now, I, I am quite pleased with this purchase. I only paid two euros for it and it's a functioning unit and also it has a battery, which is pretty important because these things tend to go out like nobody's business. Usually Siemens batteries are not the best quality, quite the opposite. Now inside, you can see that the phone is, is pretty clean, both figuratively and literally. So it's not cluttered with information or uh, plaques or uh, any other components. It has just some writing with the serial and the model. And this thing doesn't have any screws. You would open it up by just pressing on, on these side clasps. Though by doing so, you would risk damaging the chassis. So the phone is, itself is functioning correctly. But as you can see, the, well, the battery is not in the best of shapes. It showed to be charged at uh, half its capacity, though now it's, uh, well, it's at, it's almost depleted. 
which is a rather shame, but at least I got to uh, uh, turn this thing on and show it to you, basic functions and stuff like that. So anyway, this, I guess, will most definitely go into my collection and not into the Pit of Doom. And I shall be placing it right now. in its well-deserved place. So anyway, thank you for watching and remember, I buy, hoard and collect weird, quirky and obsolete tech stuff like this gathering of old Siemens phones so you don't have to. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.